So the NFL concussion issue is, is one that, that's going to remain with us for a while, even though much of the litigation has settled out and there's a fund in place now that will provide payments to players over a period of years. But, but there's still issues that remain and still something that we should focus on, especially in terms of, of the future of the sport and, and how we should look at it. I recently was on a, a panel with the uh, both a, a medical representative for the NFL, um, a representative from the league itself, and also from the Players Association, and a number of technology people. And this was this was a key issue um, that was being discussed: the future of the NFL. And has this have these payments, have these lawsuits? It, does this resolve the issue? And I think we all, in, including uh, the representatives who were there, understood that now we're still in a, in a transition moment, and we haven't really figured out what it is that's going to take place. Uh, the most important issue, and, and I think um, there's some open-endedness to the kind of payments that will be made, is to make sure the health of those that are injured, that, that didn't receive the benefits of the technology that's being created now and worked on, that those people be taken care of uh, as extensively as possible, that, that the resources in, in some sense, if you think about an industry that, that makes $13 billion in revenues a year, uh, in, in some sense, if you want to take care of anybody, you want to take care of the, of the, the men that play the game. There was a, there's an interesting stat that um, what's the injury rate in, in the NFL? If you play in the NFL, what's your injury, chance of injury? The answer is 100%. So not, not necessarily head injury, but 100% to know it, it's a game that you're going to get, get hurt in. So, so the idea of making sure you take care of these men, I think, is, is at the forefront. And in terms of, of litigation and admission of guilt, there, there's certainly a difficulty to, um, to be that straightforward on the part of the, the business entity involved. But I think the, the humanity of it uh, gets you to understand that that certainly is the direction that, that wants, to, wants to be uh, taken by the parties involved. So the other piece, and most maybe more importantly, and the question that, that I'm hearing people ask players more and more is whether or not they would let their kids play the game. I mean, I think, I think that's probably the toughest question uh, for those who recently retired and for those that are in the midst of the game. Often those in the midst of the game will resoundingly say, oh yeah, yeah, of course, look how good the game's been for me. But those who retire begin to be a little more cautious about it. And the answer I hear most often is, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage. I would make sure I educate, but I ultimately let my kid make that decision. Um, you know, for many people, the, there's actually a push away from playing the game, and there's actually been there was for a moment a decline in the number of kids playing youth football. The numbers increased again, kind of getting back up to where it was. But that's an issue. That's an issue to to focus on for the future of sport. Um, especially football and sport in general, because will we'll kids begin to play other sports? I, I think the, the good thing for the NFL and the sport of football is there is this technology focus trying to figure out how to better address the issue. But in some sense, I always think that that, that contact is the nature of the game. So it's going to be difficult to remove that completely.